The one feature we are adding in already is the remote of the heat filter. Basically, the capability to also add Google Charts. Google Charts being a nice addition. In order to show that, uh, we're going to create a new report. Now we do a quick pipeline report where we want to graphically in the chart display the status is. Oh, it's not this wrong in pipeline report. We select the opportunity, that's of course fine. We're going to do a little bit of selection that we only get open once. And we don't want to get the closed ones, so we just try to get a snap stage. Call this one up. And then let's get all the open stages, that's fine. Then I want to have a couple of fields. Not seeing the cell stage is fine. Cell stage. We want to get the assigned user. So I see the pipeline. Call user. Username. That's fine. We want to see definitely the amount. That is fine. Let's get the real amount. We want to see the capability. We want to see the weighted amount. Oh, we don't have a weighted amount. That's true. So we can create one. Take the amount a second time. This we call the total amount. This we call the weighted amount. And now we do a little bit of a trick because we know that um, if we have, have the field names probability, we can also show that the technical field name that helps the field is called probability. That's nice if you don't know that. And then we do a custom function in SQL. So one of the other new features we added is that we can address any field now of the table in custom functions. So I say this table and this field, because it's the amount, we also could type the amount. And we multiply it by the probability we have in this table. And so far, if you wanted to do that, you had to do a few weeks, but that's the answer that's gone. Then we have a right here where we say, okay, the amount times the probability, let's go right, divided by 100. So that's nice presentation. We do a group view and a group cell stage. And we do some here, some here. Just an average on the probability. And the check is that we look like this. Looks as we expected. We just save the report. So far, we haven't added a chart. But that looks nice. So group by the sales stage, then the username, total amount, the probability gets calculated. So everybody is in properly right. You have the sum and then maybe if you have an average. So next thing we're gonna add is add two charts. The one we're gonna have is a pie chart for the amount per sales stage. The other one is now a chart for the pipeline per user. So what we do is we go to the visualization and say okay, first choose a layout. So we're gonna have two charts, one by two. And we choose the first one already chosen is a Google chart. The other one is going to look in a separate topic is Google Maps and Fusion charts. So the first one is we have multiple options here. We do a one dimensional by series. So it's different. Uh, the second will do the one dimensional by values. Um, so we will see that. So we take the type. Uh, what we do is we want to do a pie chart. And then our dimension is the sales stage. And the data series we want to take as the total amount. Then we can choose a color theme. So that's the dark one. Those colors we want. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we want to show a legend. We say okay. Amount by sales stage. Let's put a legend. Mm, all is fine. We switch to the second chart. So again, we want to do a Google chart. This time we want to do two-dimensional by values. So see the difference? The difference between series is you will have two values based on series. So one value over two dimensions. <coughs> but we want to show the uh, weight of the total amount. So what we're going to do is a column chart. We're going to show columns. We want to show over the username, first of all, the total amount and then the weighted amount. And I say as far fine, we want to take the same color scheme and then we want to show pipeline per 
user. Oops. So legend, display legend, and that should more or less be fine. So let's save it and see what the result looks like. So as expected, so within just less than five minutes about, we created a report that uh, shows me grouped ICL stage and then by the user that my financials. We have mount per sale stage, which are a pie chart, that's just on the Google features. And then we have a bar chart where we have the weighted amount, the total amount, and then the weighted amount per user. Nice and easy, fast and quick. Thank you.